Hello, I am here with the unit 1 of uh, Human Resource Metrics and Analytics which is the subject in third semester of MBA JNT UK syllabus. This is unit 1. In my previous video, I have told you that there are the two topics and the two, those two topics are contain the syllabus. In this video, we will discuss or we will aware of uh, part 1 that is HR metric overview. In this video, in this uh, presentation, we will come across the concepts of HR analytics, objectives, historical evolution and how and why metrics are used in an organization, deciding what metrics are important to your organization or the business and the metrics design principles. The concept HR analytics is the process of collecting and analyzing human resource data. So why we have to collect? We have to understand the significance of uh, the performance. So how they are performing and uh, what is the uh, output result. So in order to estimate the performance and in order to understand the result, we need to gather information. And in this information, we, have, we are focusing on the work for, workforce performance. That is the concept of uh, this HR analytics. HR means human resource, that means workforce, that is people, people uh, performance information. Yes, what are the objectives of this uh, HR analytics? HR analytics, what it will do is, uh, it will um, uh, take, it will help in uh, decisions by the HR professionals. Of course, based on the information what they got, they will take a decision. Of course, I told you in the last video, decision means uh, choosing the best among the available alternatives. This analytics will give you the sources of uh, um, uh, alternatives so that we will choose the best. And also, it will help in increasing ROI, return on investment. And also, uh, this is much focused on uh, improvement of the work, work, work environments. Work environments will always help employees work better. Employee productivity. Productivity means output by input. How much he is, uh, uh, he is incurring uh, his uh, effort and what will be the result that is the productivity so in this uh, uh, hr analytics we will analyze the employee input and employee result and another one is uh, impact on the bottom line bottom line in the sense means those people who are um, in the um, down the line they will be um, trained and they will be identified very easily and they will send for the training and based on the training they will develop their uh, um, skills and uh, their efforts will be a maximum and that will help organization perform better. Evolution, the beginning, where this analytics uh, begin. So, from Peter F. Drucker and so many management thinkers, they have thrown their uh, thoughts and they have lit up their lights. They have, they have lit up our lights in the area of uh, management. So, work performance will, uh, will result organizational uh, running, uh, smooth running. So, based on the performance nowadays in the changing world scenario, so everything depend upon the uh, uh, results and uh, uh, measurements and the equations and permutations. So, in order to uh, go along with the 
um, system or go along with the um, new uh, eras uh, principles. Here, the analytics speaks. Analytics speaks on uh, um, statistics. Analytics speaks on uh, um, the application and at the same time improving of uh, uh, results. So, and the uh, gathering of information. So, likewise, uh, so this this uh, um, uh, seeding seeding helps in uh, um, thinking more on uh, HR. Uh, empowering HR professionals in what way they have to uh, work on uh, employee performance, employee um, in increase in the employee skills and the estimations. So, all these are all uh, um, um, help uh, um, in uh, developing this uh, HR analytics. But before that, uh, different experiments which are conducted as a money ball experiment. You can also see the uh, uh, movie and at the same time Google's project oxygen and the emergence of data, big data. You can see um, fast tag and everything. So, that everything uh, uh, help, everything uh, made uh, HR professional to think big. So for that, what they did is uh, there are um, the root causes for this analytics evolution. Money ball experiment, why I have to focus? In the previous uh, slide, I have shown the two experiments and uh, another one is a big data. One is a money ball experiment. Money ball experiment, uh, this is, uh, uh, yes, uh, 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 the uh, picture uh, which you are seeing here is uh, a movie. You can get uh, um, that information from that movie. So, this is a uh, uh, basically, uh, it's a uh, um, uh, purely uh, related to uh, the teams uh, which is under value and uh, how what are the problems that is facing and how to overcome and at the same time uh, um, what will be the competition or competitive uh, the competition we can give, we will give to the top uh, uh, companies. So, based on this uh, uh, inception, uh, this will, uh, uh, this money ball experiments goes on. And project oxygen, this was uh, developed by uh, Google and they are, they are uh, focused on the uh, good manager, that means good managers in the sense means uh, the efficient managers and uh, instead of calling them as a managers, they are calling it as a coach, coach will identify the mistakes and at the same time uh, that will be rectified. And at the same time, make uh, perform uh, make uh, employee perform better. And uh, there should not be any micromanage. And they have to uh, build uh, uh, the concept of team. Team means together each one achieve more. So and at the same time, uh, everything focused on the result oriented. These are all the ten points I have shown you. Uh, this will uh, help uh, a manager to work better. And the, the, the I suggest to watch these movies, these ten movies I have shown you. So if you if you see, uh, you can experience uh, the power of analytics. And how and why metrics are used in an organization? How and why? So here, uh, the metrics is uh, totally depend upon the quantifiable. That means the statistical oriented. So they will help. Uh, that uh, they they will. Uh, uh, work on to track the business, uh, um, how the business is going on and uh, monitor, how to monitor the assessment of the success or the failure. And at the same time, this will uh, much focus on uh, uh, this blue letter and red letter I am showing here is an additional information that particularly they are focusing on uh, um, finance, marketing and the competition, how are the competitors and what competition we have to uh, give to overcome. Um, uh, our uh, uh, sustainability. So, um, to, uh, to um, under the same time uh, uh, standards and the customer requirements and expectation meeting the customer's requirements without wasting and uh, uh, expectations also. So, based on the performance, uh, um, we will uh, 
meet all those uh, uh, issues and uh, deciding what metrics are important to your business so metrics related to sales revenue metrics related to net profit margin gross margin sales growth year to date cost of customer acquisition customer loyalty and retention so this is very very important point so we need to estimate further uh, um, um, more and more work uh, is to be done the net promoter score the qualified lead per month and the lead to a client conversion rate how we are converting the uh, lead and at the same time monthly website traffic made over do milestones employee happiness how employee happiness so in this area uh, we um, uh, we have to decide what metrics and uh, at the same time that those are all important we need to inf gather information on these uh, uh, 12 uh, areas so that uh, we will improve our uh, business and the uh, hr matrix design principles here are the 15 principles i have given you this is purely related to um, uh, metric design so you see that uh, uh, every business should be a case and uh, uh, what uh, what if i do metrics what will, will be the impact and you focus on that and uh, see that what will be the result and you need to uh, convert them into a value otherwise called the money and uh, otherwise called the dollars whatever you can and uh, what we have to do is we have to shift shift data driven of course in in documents we will have only the result but that should be uh, taken to employee behavior and at the same time performance so we need to be uh, always focus on trend line trend line estimations so the cost delaying action and at the same time easy access whatever uh, access access is there that should be accessed very easily and focus on talent decisions and we have to identify what are the causes of the problem and based on based on that cause we have to identify the um, uh, solution and the recommendation actions and of course correlations connections and at the same time um, we have to improve the calculations on our, uh, our performance yeah this is all about uh, the part one of uh, um, uh, unit uh, um, one so in the next video i will uh, uh, come with uh, um, part two or the part b of uh, unit one until then have a good time thank you